pray Every time I feel Can't do no different Swear me up a win That's why I'm gonna try again Pray every time Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Slay by Millie and I'm back in your faces with a brand new video. As you can see guys, I'm doing a whole brand new video. Usually I know I will get the vlog them and stuff like that. But on this side, it's strictly top and just giving a look at how-to video. A little detailed video on how I install my wigs. So first and foremost, as you can see, I'm doing some clustered lashes only because if your lashes is not done and you get a fresh install, it'll look cute. But with lashes, it's going to take it from a 9 to a 10 really, really quick. So I'm going to decide to just drop onto a cluster before, you know, I actually do my hair. So obviously, I'm starting off with my ball cap method and I'll be installing this brown wig from Amazon. So I'm just putting the wig on my head, trying to size it up okay. and trying to figure out what side do I want, if I want a side part or a middle part. So now I'm going in with three layers of glue. I just showed y'all one layer, but I always do three layers. So now I'm just going to put on the wig and I'm going to just push the glue down. I mean, the lace down into the glue, making sure everything is intact and, you know, directly in the glue. So now I'm just using my scissor and cutting off the extra lace by my ear tab. And then I'm going to just go on back with the same foundation brush. And I'm going to just add back, you know, whatever foundation is left on the brush. Make sure everything is, you know, blended to my skin. And then I'm going to just part out my side part and then add my band. I'm going to just go in with my brush, brush out the hair, making sure everything detangle. You know, it's basically, you know, very much self-explanatory. So I'm going to really need to go in on two more details on what I'm doing. Because obviously, you guys are seeing it. But what I normally do with, you know, with how I comb in my hair, um, if I'm doing a side or a middle part, I just make sure to go in in sections, add my wax stick, and also, you know, flatten it out with the hot comb. So, make, so you, you got to do it in sections so it's flat as possible, if you get what I'm saying. And yeah so i'm just gonna basically do that all throughout the side i'm at and for the side part you know the part with the less here i don't really have to you know part it out because it's just a little bit of here on that side so this is what i'm doing you know continuously let me just uh, do it over 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 until i'm basically done with the top part And the next thing, I know a lot of people when they're hot combing their hair, they just, you know, do a quick little pass. You got to make sure the hot comb sit on top of the, you know, here for like a second or three to make sure it penetrate the ear so it can actually get flat. Obviously, you don't want to burn yourself, but you know what I'm saying? But anyways, moving on, I'm just now cutting my lace off. When using a scissor, you're going to want to just cut small pieces at a time so it's not like a straight line. Just like what I'm doing here, I'm going to slow down this clip so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. After cutting my lace off, I'm going to go back in with the same brush and I'm going to just apply more foundation um, to my lace. And just to make sure to get most of the ashiness out before, you know, I melt it or whatever. Then I'm going to go back in with my tweezer and just thin it out just a little bit because I don't like it too, too thick or too thin. But definitely on the thicker side, like I love a lot of baby hair, you know, hence why I pull so many hair out. Yeah, so I'm basically just parting out my um, baby hair, making sure everything is even. I love when my baby hair is like super full, but not too, too thick, as I mentioned before. After taking out my baby hair, I'm going to just go in with my rat tail comb and add some more glue on my forehead that didn't get no glue at first. And I'm going to just um, basically place the lace down in that, you know, but definitely after it dry because you cannot add any type of lace in no white glue. You got to make sure it's dried clear. But before adding the lace to the glue, I'm going to just make sure to straighten my baby hairs to the front and making sure it's flat. So when I do melt my lace, it's already formed in that direction. So now I'm just putting the lace down into the glue. Just, you know, you see how it just basically disappeared. That's exactly what you want. If the glue was white, it would have never done that. The glue would be peeking through the lace and you don't want that. You're, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm just going to add my melting spray and I'm only adding a little bit because I feel like with this melting spray specifically, I don't need too much because it's so good, y'all. And yeah, so I'm just adding just a little bit and I'm going to also go going with my blow dryer and just dry it down just a little bit before putting my melting spray 
um, band on because sometimes when you put the melting band on before drying it it's it's a little bit tacky and we don't want that we want the everything to be dried properly before adding anything y'all so that's basically what i'm doing just drying it down just making sure everything is you know perfect After doing all of that, y'all, I'm going to just make sure to detangle my hair before I go with my flat iron. And I also try to use a, a little bit of oil. So this oil that I'm using is Bio Silk. It's pretty lightweight because obviously you don't want to put like heavy oils in your hair and it basically weighed on the ear too much. So that's why I'm going to put the Bio Silk. The Bio Silk is a really, really good oil to use. So I'm just going to go in sections straight into my hair and guys while i was straightening um you know right here obviously it's my first time adding heat to it i realized that this year is actually a mixed hair so if you don't know sometimes these amazon companies put fiber in the wig so it's not all human hair but to say it is mixed here it's not too bad but i wish it was all human but you know it's fine regardless it is what it is so as i mentioned i'm just going in sections just trying to straighten it out you see how it's not getting as straight that's the issue but as i mentioned it's fine it is what it is it's, it's pretty cheap i just wanted something really quick and you know cute so that's what i came up with and i ordered this brown wig and it's fall so you know it was it was cute Now, let me just say, this got to be every girl's favorite part. Taking this off felt like heaven because these lace bands really be tearing the ears off. Like, I'm tired of them. But, hey, we got to do what we got to do. Anyways, y'all see how this is pretty melted? Honestly, I wish it was a trend. It was a HD. Obviously, it would have melt better. But this look really good. McCann too complain. So, yeah. I'm going to just now cut my baby hairs. Um, I'm not cutting it too short or too long because I do want that full fluffy look. So I don't cut it off too much. After doing that, I'm going to just use my mini flat iron and curl it up. I know it's a whole controversy around doing it up or down. But honestly, to, with me, I just do it whatever direction I feel at the time. Down, up, it really don't matter to me. I feel like I could do it um even without it not being curled i could still form a baby here you just gotta know what you're doing um so now i'm just going to, i'm just gonna go in with my got to be spray and just do my baby here while doing your baby here with the got to be spray you're gonna want to have your blow dryer on so while you're um molding the hair your your blow dryer is basically drying it in place versus if you use the gel the gel you can just farm out every ear, your baby ear and then just dry it after but i really like how the the got to be spread do my edges nowadays i don't know why as me say me can't use either one but me just like this me not like it better but me just like it. you know what i say yeah so after that now me just go in with um a lighter shade of concealer or foundation and just define my part a little bit more making sure that the, 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 the show set the part did it and you know it nice and crispy that's the look that we're going for always wipe off the excess gel or whatever you used to do your baby here and we're all done y'all look how beautiful this came out um honestly it, the lace could have melted a little bit more but it still looked good to say so I, tried, I literally paid like 95 dollars for this week it is a so-called 30 inch um you know it's pretty cute i'm not gonna lie i really enjoy this look i'm still enjoying this look and yeah i think the color looks good on my skin and yeah thank you guys so much for watching bye